No texting, no typing, please. Blessings, 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 beloved. I am Mama Pam, a.k.a. Pamela Dobson, of the Smurf Family International Interactive Ministry, where we do read the Word of God, beloved, seven minutes every day, so you do not have to read. Now, today's read... <clears throat> Today's read. Today's read is for Monday, August the twelfth, twenty twenty-four. Monday, August the twelfth, twenty twenty-four. We're reading from Exodus, the fifth chapter. Exodus, the fifth tap chapter. Seven minutes. We'll see how much of the reading we get done, and let's read. And after Moses and Aaron went in and told Pharaoh, Thus saith the Lord God of Israel, Let my people go, that they may hold a feast unto me in the wilderness. And Pharaoh said, Who is the Lord, that I should obey his voice to let Israel go? I know not the Lord, neither will I let Israel go. And they said, The God of the Hebrews had met with us. Let us go, we pray thee, three days' journey into the desert and sacrifice unto the Lord our God. Lest he fall upon us with pestilence or with the sword. And the king of Egypt said unto them, Wherefore do you, do ye, Moses and Aaron, let the people from their works get you unto your burdens? And Pharaoh said, Well, behold, the people of the land now are many, and they make them rest from their burdens. And Pharaoh commanded the same day the taskmasters of the people and their officers, saying, Ye shall no more give the people straw to make brick as heretofore. Let them go and gather straw for themselves. And the tale of the bricks which they did make hitherto, ye shall lay upon them. Ye shall not diminish up thereof, for they be idle. Therefore they cry, saying, let us go and sacrifice to our God. Let their more work be laid upon the men, that they may labor therein, and let them not regard vain words. And the taskmasters of the people went out, and their officers, and they spake to the people, saying, Thus saith Pharaoh, I will not give you straw. Go ye, get your straw where you can find it. Yet not out of your work shall be diminished. So the people were scattered abroad throughout all the land of Egypt to gather stubble instead of straw. And the taskmasters hasted them, saying, Fulfill your works, your daily task, as when there was straw. And the officers of the children of Israel, which Pharaoh's taskmasters had set over them, were beaten and demanded, Wherefore have ye not fulfilled your task in making brick, both yesterday and today, as heretofore? And then the officers of the children of Israel came and cried unto Pharaoh, saying, Wherefore dealest thou thus with thy servants? There is no straw given us unto thy servants. And they say to us, Make brick. And behold, thy servants are beaten. But the fault is in thine own people. But he said, Ye are idle. Ye are idle. Therefore ye say, Let us go and do sacrifice to the Lord. Go therefore now and work, for there shall no straw be given you. you sh ye shall, yet shall ye deliver the tale of bricks. And the officers of the children of Israel did see that they were in evil case. After it was said, ye shall not minish aught from your bricks of your daily task. And they met Moses, and Aaron stood in the way as they came forth from Pharaoh. And they said unto them, The Lord, look upon you, and judge, because ye have made our savor to be abhorred in the eyes of Pharaoh, and in the eyes of his servants to put a sword in their hand to slay us. And Moses returned, and the Lord said, And the Lord, and Moses returned unto the Lord, and said, Lord, wherefore hast thou so evilly entreated these people? Why is it that thou hast sent me? For since I came to Pharaoh to speak in thy name, he hath done evil to this people, neither hast thou delivered thy people at all. Chapter 6 
Then the Lord said unto Moses, Now shalt thou see what I will do to Pharaoh. For with a strong hand shall he let them go, and with a strong hand shall he drive them out of this land. And God spake unto Moses and said unto him, I am the Lord. And I appeared unto Abraham, unto Isaac, and unto Jacob by the name of God Almighty. But by my name Jehovah was I not known to them. And I've also established my covenant with them to give them the land of Canaan, the land of the pilgrimage, wherein they were strangers. And I've also heard the groaning of the children of Israel, whom the Egyptians keep in bondage. And I've remembered my covenant. Wherefore say unto the children of Israel that I am the Lord, and I will bring you out from under the burdens of the Egyptians, and I will rid you out of their burden, and I will redeem you with, an, with a stretched out arm and with great judgments. And I will take you to me for a people, and I will be to you a God, and you shall know that I am the Lord your God, which bringeth you out from under the burdens of the Egyptians, and I will bring you in unto the land concerning which I did swear to give to Abraham, to Isaac, and to Jacob, and I will give it to you for a heritage. I am the Lord. And Moses spake so unto the children of Israel, but they hearkened not unto Moses for anguish of spirit and for cruel bondage. And the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, Go in, speak unto Pharaoh, king of Egypt, that he let the children of Israel go out of this land, out of his land, and Moses spake before the Lord, saying, Behold, the children of Israel have not hearkened unto me. How then shall Pharaoh hear me? Who am I of uncircumcised lips? And the Lord spake unto Moses and unto Aaron, and gave them a charge unto the children of Israel, and unto Pharaoh, king of Egypt, to bring the children of Israel out of the land of Egypt. Now these be the heads of their fathers' houses, the sons of Reuben, the firstborn of Israel, Hanuk and Pilu, Hezron and Carmi. These are the families of Reuben. And the sons of Simeon, Jemiel and Jamin and Ohad, and Jachin, Zohar and Zual, the son of a Canaanitish woman. These are the families of Simeon. And these are the names of the sons of the sons of Levi, according to their generations, Gershon and Kohath and Marirai. And the years of the life of Levi were a hundred thirty and seven years. The sons of Gershon, Libni, and Shimi, according to their families. And the sons of Kohath, Amaraz, and Izhar, and Ebron, and Uzael. And the years of the life of Kohath were a hundred thirty and three years. And the sons of Merari, Mahali, and Mushi. These are the families of Levi, according to their generations. And Amram took him, Jochebed, his father's sister, to wife. And she bare him Aaron and Moses. And the years of the life of Amram were a hundred and thirty-seven years. And the sons of Ishar, Korah, and Hephag, and, Zim, and Zimshi, and the sons of Uziel, Mishael, and El Elzaphan, and Itri. And Aaron took him Elishba, daughter of Amenadad, sister of Nashin, to, to wife. And she bare him Nadad and Abihu, Eleazar, and Itamar. And the sons of Korah, Asher, and Elkanah, and Abisap, these are the families of the Korites. And I've gone past the time, I'm going to keep reading. And Eleazar, Aaron's son, took him one of the daughters of Putel to wife. And she bare him Phineas. These are the heads of the fathers of the Levites, according to their families. And these are that Aaron and Moses, to whom the Lord said, Bring out the children of Israel from the land of Egypt, according to their armies. These are they which spake to Pharaoh, king of Egypt, to bring out the children of Israel from Egypt. These are that Moses and Aaron. And so it came to pass on the day when the Lord spake unto Moses in the land of Egypt, that the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, I am the Lord, which speak thou unto Pharaoh, king of Egypt, all that I say unto thee. And Moses said before the Lord, Behold, I'm uncircumcised lips. And how shall Pharaoh hearken unto me? May the Lord add a blessing to you, the hearers, me, the reader of this precious and sacred word of God. Praise God.
if you come and if you are blessed by the reads, the Lord blesses you by these readings. I know you be blessed. I know you be blessed. If you are blessed and you can do what this is saying for you to do, you can either do that, you can give your hard-earned cash, or you can go to 7minutebling.com. 7minutebling.com. You see this beautiful jewelry that I wear every day? Five dollars. Five dollars, five dollars, five dollars. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. Yes, sir. You can do that at 7minutebling.com. Pay close attention to how we spell the 7, S-E-V, number 7-N, seven 7-minute seven read. Until the next read, remember Jesus loves you, and I love you too, and ain't nothing you can do about it. God bless.